This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, who wants to show you a little bit of love during this February. If you buy one window or door, you'll get another window or door for 40% off and another $200 off your patio door project. Ooh la la. Call 717-727-7558 or drop by rbacentralpa.com slash deals for more information. Locals are still struggling a year after the Norfolk Southern train derailment. Meanwhile, syphilis is on the rise. Experts are saying that high school financial literacy requirements are way overdue. Finally, it was an unbearable situation. I'm a Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. It's been over a year now since a Norfolk Southern train carrying hazardous chemicals derailed in East Palestine, forcing hundreds of residents to evacuate the area, reports the Associated Press. And those living in the small town near the Ohio-Pennsylvania border are still struggling to recover. While Mayor Trent Conaway did say things are, quote, 90 to 95 percent back to normal, unquote, the New York Times notes scars from the crash remain. A creek that runs from the crash site through the center of the town, for example, is still exhibiting signs of pollution. The area where the train derailed, notes the Times, also still looks like a large cleanup site. Norfolk Southern has since paid derailment-related expenses of East Palestine families, such as cleanup and relocation costs. The company also settled with a number of businesses and plans to put $25 million both toward overhauling the town's park and building a training center for emergency workers in town. Says Conaway, quote, They made the mistake, they're cleaning it up, but it'd be nice if the mistake never happened in the first place. The rate of syphilis infections in Pennsylvania has nearly doubled in just four years' time, reports Y. And Jersey, too. And they've tripled in Delaware. In fact, a previous Penn Live article detailed how various STDs are up nationally, with Philadelphia seeing the highest rate out of any other city in the U.S. Numbers from the CDC are showing that syphilis is no different and up nationwide mostly because, say some experts, COVID disrupted healthcare screenings. Teenagers are using condoms less too, and there's higher sexual health risks associated with drug use. Officials are calling for investments in sex education as well as testing and treatment to address this problem. Says Carrie L. Lasher, director of the Camden County Department of Health and Human Services, quote, We have more cases circulating in the community and one case leads to another. The sooner we can all collectively rally around reducing these rates, the better. Experts are saying how high school financial literacy requirements are long overdue, states the Tribune Review. This podcast has previously reported on how some high schools in Pennsylvania are requiring kids to take financial literacy classes and how the state has become the 25th in the nation to pass legislation to make the completion of a semester-long financial literacy course mandatory for the 2026-27 school year. And though such as State Auditor General Timothy DeFore are touting the success of some schools teaching kids how to understand things like debt and managing credit scores and saving and so on. This is especially important, notes he, as 76% of Americans reportedly live from paycheck to paycheck, 50% have less than two grand in retirement savings, and another 50 plus percent didn't even save any money last year at all. Writes Penn Live reporter Chris Mountner, quote, You might say it was an unbearable situation, says Penn Live. A man in Huntington County had crawled under his porch recently to tend to frozen pipes when he saw something he absolutely did not expect. A bear. The bear got scared, <laughs> luckily for the man, and ran off, only to return later that evening. Then it got scared again and came back again, this time in a neighbor's carport. State game wardens eventually stepped in to evict this furry squatter who was successfully relocated to a nice den. That's all for today. For more news, drop by penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast and to share it around with people you think would dig it as well. Thanks in advance, and as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and we'll chat tomorrow during more Today in PA. This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, who wants to show you a little bit of love during this February. If you buy one window or door, you'll get another window or door for 40% off. 
and another $200 off your patio door project. Ooh la la. Call 717-727-7558 or drop by rbacentralpa.com slash deals for more information.